What's going on guys? This is uh, D-Rock over from One Hive Invicta and I'm going to be bringing you guys our very first war recap. So very excited to be doing this. Um, we have some really nice beastly attackers over here so I'm really excited to showcase their skills to the rest of the YouTube community. Um, our first war that we're going to be showing is our war with India. Um, we had a loss to higher ground before that, but most of our core members were in the scrimmage um, that all of One Hive did. So we weren't at full strength, but higher ground definitely brought the heat. So um, congratulations to them. But our first attack that we're going to be showing is by a member of ours called Filthy Hillbilly. Um, he was featured on Jake's video um, recap of the scrimmage and you know he just brings the heat all the time so I'm um, glad I'm able to show him here he comes in with a shattered goho um, from this left side he comes in top left with a golem bottom le uh, bottom left with another golem creates his funnel wall breakers go into the middle there to open it up the top golem reroutes but that bottom one does not. But watch what happens here. Before the update, that golem would have just continued, even though that cannon is now gone, that golem would have continued on banging against that wall. But with the new AI, it's much better. As soon as that defense goes down, the golem is smart enough to go follow his buddy and continue doing his job like a good boy. So the golems start going in. The CC comes out, he drops his poison. <laughs> Those wizards and witches are just crawling through there and melting. The loons soften up, and uh, he's already started bringing his surgical from top. Um, puts his heel down right there. Decent heel. Could have been a little bit more south because you'll see in a moment his that group of hogs ended up getting wiped out by that bomb and another bomb in the core. So actually, there's three bombs there. Um, so a little bit more south than you would have had more hogs at the end, but it ended up working out at the end. Um, he comes down with more hogs from the bottom, heals for those. Have, they have to go back down and get the archer tower, but I believe he still has about, um, 12 hogs left at the end of this raid. Um, only an X-Bow and Tesla's left, and even his queen is tanking for them. So, you know, there's not enough. DPS coming at those hogs, and it's just cleanup time at this point. Very nice job by Filthy. And boom, he still has his, his queen's ability. I mean, absolutely crush that bitch. Boom goes the dynamite. Good job, buddy. Um, next attack we're going to be showing is attack by our boy Fu on number 12 with a cold blooded, or no, it was, it was a shattered. Um, a shattered goho from the top here. Um, obviously, that queen's exposed, and there's a lot of trash up there. So he has a a, a bunch of wizards um, and two golems to tank while his heroes and his wizards clean up some of that mess. Um, but once this starts going, he drops one golem, golem out of the CC, wizards behind, starts creating his funnel here. The queen dropped. Once those storages start going down, he's going to drop the king as well. Just about there, yeah. So the golems are taking a beating right now. The king is going to take out the defensive king. He drops a jump so that once the queen goes down, his golems continue passing through the base, hopefully getting a couple bombs, um, which they do. So once that golem takes that jump, whoop, bomb goes off. And now it's time for the surgical. So he comes in from the the the, the, the right here. But notice here, he's before the even the CC comes out, he's already deploying his hog. So he has an idea that this CC is going to be handled because the majority of their uh, clan castles were full of small troops anyway. So he was thinking he was going to use the poison. Ends up not even using the poison. It's a new spell, so we're still getting used to using it, but. Um, luckily, he uses his king's ability and his queen's ability, and they ended up taking care of the CC. So he ends up having that poison spell at the end of the raid without it being used. 
So obviously a, a beast attack without even using the poison, not even having to worry about the lure. Um, he drops the the two heels, started working the counter or the the clockwise motion. Another heel to reinforce those, and the remaining hogs to finish off those left buildings. Um, he still has about like twenty hogs, so completely smashed that base. The bomb goes off and mix a couple of the hogs, but there's a huge pack of them just ready to wreak havoc. He ended up dropping a couple of his remaining wizards for cleaning them out the opposite side so that's always nice to be able to do that when you can but i'm going to fast forward here because all it is is clean up boom goes the dynamite good job buddy and the last attack we're going to be showing will be from our boy ixen who brought a very nice cold-blooded lalo on what number was that On number 18, no, it was 16. So Ixin comes in. Um, before I start this, obviously this base is not the best, but um, still needed to be wrecked, and Ixin did a great job at exploiting its weaknesses. But these air defenses, I know there's a new one, and people don't really know what to do with the first one still, but you do not want to have your air defenses bunched up like that. You're just being, you're waiting to be, taken down by an experienced attacker. I mean, the Expos are down, um, just, you know, you're waiting to be wrecked, basically. He even brings haste, so you get to see those in action. Um, but he's going to come with a cold blooder from the south, um, one golem down, no rush to drop too many troops yet, because there's not a lot of DPS taking out the golem. Um, you're going to be very patient with that funnel starting to be created. Drops his queen to help out. She's going to end up taking out that archer tower. And then as soon as that goes down, he's going to drop his jump spell to make his royals and his kill squad go in and take out the clan castle, the queen, and that air defense. So the king goes down. Soon he's going to be rerouted to take out some of those CC troops. And the poison, obviously, doing a number to those small units in the clan castle. Witches and units like that are now obsolete pretty much, so you're not going to be seeing lighter units anymore. But the king did his job, took out the air defense, took out the queen. Um, the queen's going to end up taking a walking, the, taking the wizard tower and maybe the archer tower as well, but she's pretty much done at this point. But that's, you know, they don't need anything else. The two lava homes go down on two different angles. Soaking up some of these traps. That haste spell is a little off. I would maybe place it a little more southeast um, to get those balloons in there quicker. But they're going very fast through. The rage is put down as well to help those other looms. And then he's not even waiting because he wants to make sure that those uh, as many hounds as possible pop. So he's just letting those hounds take a beating. Um, Dropping more loons, more haste. So those loons just are speeding through with that haste. Even level one haste, very fast. Um, upgraded, it'd just be, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, that last hound goes to the final air defense. And there are just too many balloons at this point for anything of his base to handle. Um, hounds are working on the cleanup. And he even has goblins and wizards to drop, so... Absolutely crushed that base. I believe it was, you know, he still had about a minute left on the attack as it was. So, completely smashed that base. Great job. It's boom goes the dynamite. All right, guys. Um, that is the war recap. One thing I, I did want to mention about our current war. Last war was a snoozer, but this one should be a winner. We're up against a clan, Golden Goblins. They have 195 wins. They're actually, you know, we've been in contact with them a little bit, and they're very cool guys. I'm um, going to bring a lot of nice attacks, so we're looking forward to the challenge and hopefully bring you guys an even better warp recap next time. So that's it, guys. From Invicta, this is D-Rock saying, later, Gator.